hey everyone and welcome back to the channel and in this video today i will show you how to fix black screen in user emulator after launching game let's get started guys you can see three different games on my user page so uh, first of all guys if you want to play a new game in your user emulator uh, you need to update your user emulator first if you have an older version Yuzu emulator and if you want to play newest game in Yuzu then you can face black screen or crashing problem after launching Yuzu with a new Switch games in Yuzu. So you need to update your Yuzu emulator first. Now I am using Yuzu LXS uh, 3098. Now I need a newer version Yuzu emulator extract it with window first and open this one now i open new user emulator now over here guys very important thing if you have recently updated your user emulator manually then go to files and open user folder now close your user emulator and create a new folder on your PC desktop. Now open this folder. But first, open log folder. As you can see, use a log and old txt file. So this is the problem. Now I cut these folders from here and paste here now I close this folder and I close this folder now guys uh, you need uh, new uh, prop keys and uh, new premiere files so open your user emulator first and then ok and yes and file open user folder now close the user amulet first and uh, uh, go to keys folder and extract uh, this file with vendor first and copy this prop key so you need latest keys and go back and open NAND folder system content register one more important thing guys if you want to use firmware 15.0.0 or above then you need latest keys so i use this firmware files so you can get new keys and firmware files from my video description open this uh, folder and uh, copy these all files from here so you need all files from here and copy and paste here and it's done okay now close it close this folder after updating keys and firmware files reopen your user emulator it's very important guys you should restart user emulator after updating new keys and firmware files now select your game directory double click here so here's my game so guys this is first main reason of black screen in yuzo after launching games so after using firmware files and new keys you can fix black screen in yuzo after launching games the second reason is if you are using oldest drivers for your GPU, then please update your drivers for your GPU. Go to search bar and type here device manager. Click here. Go to display adapter. So I am using NVIDIA G4 GTX 750. Right click and go to properties and go to drivers. So check your driver date and driver version from here so if you are using older drivers for your gpu then please update your drivers for your gpu so i am using latest version drivers for my gpu now ok and close it and if you have already updated your drivers for your gpu 
then you need some more settings for your user emulator. Go to emulation and configuration and go to general and select multi-core from here and go to system, CPU and select auto from here, graphics and check these options and select Vulkan from here. And if you have Intel HD graphics or AMD CPU or GPU, then select from here AMD Super Resolution Vulkan only. It's very important guys. And select from here One X 720p by 1080p. And go to Advanced. And check this option. And check it. And uncheck Use Vsync. If you want more FPS and maximum performance in your user emulator, then uncheck these options. And you can select high from here. If your GPU is very powerful, then you can select high. Otherwise, you can select normal. So you can try both options from here. Now OK. And make sure your settings for the game are same. Right click and go to properties and general multi-core CPU auto graphics and Vulkan and 1x resolution advanced graphics so these settings are seen okay now go to emulation configuration again and graphics so my GPU is Nvidia then I select from here this one and if your GPU is AMD then you can select from here AMD Super Resolution. But I select this one and OK. And for more settings, if you want more performance in user emulator without any problem, then go to your uh, uh, control panel for your NVIDIA or AMD or Intel HD graphics. Now go to Adjust Image Settings. And select from here Performance. Take this options and apply. Now go to manage 3D settings and scroll down and open GL rendering GPU. Select GPU device from here and power management mode. Maximum performance and uh, texture building quality. Select high performance and click on apply. And go to configure surround and select from here your GPU device and click on apply. Go to manage 3D settings again and go to program settings. Now click on add and browser and go to your user emulator folder. So my user emulator is here. Uh, 3113 open this folder and select this user emulator application file and click on apply and it's done now close it and right click and go to display settings and scroll down and go to graphic settings click here now I remove my old user emulator file. Now click on browser and go to your user emulator folder. So my user is here, folder 9. And select this application file. Now options and high performance and save. And it's done. Now close it. And for more settings for your PC, go to search bar and type your msconfig and press enter and go to boot options and advanced options and uncheck this option and uncheck these options and ok and apply and ok and restart your PC now. After restarting your PC, reopen your user emulator. Now guys, I want to tell one more important things over here. 
some games work with OpenGL and some games work with Vulkan. If your game does not work, then go to emulation and configuration and go to graphics and change your API device from here. Select the OpenGL and OK and right click, go to properties and graphics and make sure your settings are same. But I recommend Vulkan for AMD users because OpenGL is not workable for AMD users. Uh, AMD users can uh, face uh, black screen with OpenGL. So you can try both options if you face uh, black screen. So hope this tutorial will be helpful for you guys. If you like this video then subscribe to my channel and like my this video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. See you in the next video.